Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Allie's Amazing Scents. If you're new here, my name is Allison, your independent Scentsy consultant. And as you can see, I have two boxes here of my Scentsy Club orders. So let's just dive in. One of them does have the whiff box in it for March, um, and we'll be opening that at the end. So I actually got um, a package too because I had a partial shipment and they ended up coming on the same day anyway. And the only thing in here is um, a bar of silver bells. So I put this in my club at the end of the season last year. I'm a little worried it's not going to come back. And it's such a classic complex beautiful scent um it's it's really nice i'm not going to spend too much time talking about each scent just because we have a lot to cover here and i will really try not to say i love this one i love this one because obviously i love them all because they're in my clubs um first we'll start with my bi-monthly club because i do have some items in here that are new that I haven't sniffed before. My bi-monthly club, I tend to rotate items more in here. And um, there's a couple times a year where both of my clubs ship in the same month, and this is one of them. So this club, I try to always keep it at um, 10 bars and then the half off item. But I have a couple extra ones in here this time that I wanted to try. Uh, first of all, we have two bars of Gimme Candy. Uh, this is such a good bakery scent. I warm this quite a bit. This is the only bar out of both of my clubs that I have more than one of the same bar. Um, and I probably will have to drop this down eventually, but I find that I use it so often that, um, two bars every other month is justifiable at this time. Um, if you like a good butterscotch scent, this is it. This was a scent of the month for September of last year. And I really hope that we see that again someday. Okay. Next one is Lemon Coconut Chiffon. Um, this is a nice bakery for the springtime. Well, really year-round. But um, oh, that is so good with the lemon and the bakery notes really great. Next one is Huckleberry and Clementine. Um, I forgot how strong this was. I warmed this the other day, one bar in my open concept, and it did great. So um, this is a tart scent, and I really enjoy it. Next one um, is Mango Shortcake. I don't know if this will stay in here forever, but I I did want to um, throw it in here at least for a while because I think it's a nice lighter bakery scent um, for the summer with the mango. Mm, gives it that fruity note. And then you do have the little bit of the bakery with the shortcake. So um, that's a, a nice one for summer. We also have a bar of World Traveler. This has been in this club for a while. Um, I don't know that it'll stay in here forever, but this is my probably my favorite um, masculine scent. Really enjoy this. Mm, it's, yeah, it's like a sophisticated man. <laughs> I always picture like a Manhattan office with a, a smart, sophisticated, sharp, put together businessman, that's who would be warming this. And that lasts forever. That's a good one to put in if you don't want to have to change your wax for a while. Okay, the next one is um, from the Easter collection, Violet and Spun Sugar. I have warmed one bar of this and I really enjoyed it after I warmed it. Um, when I first smelled it on cold, I wasn't crazy about it. But I actually really enjoyed it on warm and felt that it was a pretty good performer. To me, this was the strongest out of the three Easter scents. Mm, that is so pretty. So, 
I'm glad that I, um, you know, gave it a fair shot because it did end up in my club, at least for now. The next one, which is probably my favorite out of the Easter collection, is Pinkberry Fluff. I hope I remembered to put this in my quarterly, too, because I think I, I wanted to put it in this club to just build up a few and then um, probably put it in my quarterly. The reason that I enjoy this so much is it's a pink scent that I can smell. Um, you know, we have a lot of pink scents between pink haze and vitamin U unwind and um, pink coconut, and a lot of them are really light to my nose, but this is one that I could smell, and I really enjoyed that in my bedroom. Oh my goodness, that's so nice. It's like girly, sweet, feminine. You, you, you smell the fluff, like the marshmallow fluff. This is so good. So um, that will probably be sticking around with me for a while. And another one that's been in this club, actually, since I started it is Caramel Pear Crisp. This is a powerhouse. Um, it's a very strong bakery, and I love the pear note in here. Oh, my goodness. So good with that sweet pear. I think this was a club exclusive when it first um, came out or when it last came out and bring back my bar. But um, yes, absolutely love that one. That's one that I try to warm when my husband's not here because he's not crazy about it. Okay, these next two I have not smelled and I'm really excited. They're from the, um, the Epcot collection, the Flower Garden collection. I only got two of them. I didn't get the rose one because um, in the U.S., um, they are considered license bars because you can see that they have the Disney, um, licensing on them. So they're an extra 50 cents. Uh, Canada, I think all the other regions, um, they don't have that, uh, we don't have that licensing agreement outside the U S and so those ones are not that extra 50 cents. So I wanted to hear what other people are saying about the rose. And from what I've heard, I may pick up a bar. Um, I've heard that it's very um, authentic smelling in terms of like a real actual fresh rose. And I do like rose scents in my bathroom, but anyway, <laughs> let's just get to smelling what I got. Soft plumeria. Um, I do like plumeria scents. I enjoy a good floral. Mm. This is, this is floral. I'm not sure about this actually. It's kind of powdery. It reminds me a little bit of like an older lady, like an older lady's perfume. So we'll see. <laughs> we'll see once I warm it. But um, at this point, I'm not sold on that one. That's my silver bells right there. The next one is the one I'm most excited to try is Mint Fields. So I'm hoping that this smells like fresh mint that you would pick from the garden, like the herb. Ooh, yeah. Oh yeah, definitely on the bottom. You get that green note. Almost reminds me of like um, wild like weeds. <laughs> I know that sounds bad, but you know when they get wet in the springtime and you have that smell that they put off. Mm, that's what I get on the bottom of this. Uh, this is good. Um, I don't... I don't know. It, I don't think it's too green on cold. It's it's different. It's really um, authentic to a fresh green scent. I do pick up more of the mint on the top and on the bottom. Like I said, it just reminds me of like when you're outside in the spring and it rains and all the stuff that grows out there um, kind of robe that you smell. Um, that's what I get from the bottom of this. So uh, that's exciting. I'm going to try this probably my bathroom next and see what I think of it. I also think it could be a good mixer with um, florals and maybe I'll mix it with the plumeria one um, to kind of tone down the powdery note in that floral. But this is definitely my favorite of the two. I like that one. Is it worth the extra 50 cents? Maybe. It does seem, it doesn't smell like any other scentsy um, green scent that I've smelled. So 
fun last item I have in this box, my smaller club, is my half off item. So I chose to get a brick and squeeze the day. Um, I've only warmed this scent once and it was pretty strong, um, but it, it I only got like a day out of it, but it was really strong and my husband actually liked it and could smell it. Um, so I wanted to get this as something to clean out the air, you know, after cooking and whatnot. Um, and it's nice for things like that to have extra wax, like a brick size. In the past, I've used coconut lemongrass for that, but I thought I would just give this a whirl in brick form. I think this is, um, actually I have a catalog here. Let me read you the notes here real quick. This has been around for... A few seasons. Um, I think it was a scent of the month a few years ago, and then it's been in the catalog. It it retired for um, fall winter, but it's back now in the catalog. This is a tart and true fragrance of pure lemons, balanced by a hint of vanilla cream. Oh yes, that is just a nice fresh lemon. I think that'll do a great job um, helping <laughs> clean the air when we do cooking and when my husband, you know, cooks some of his bacon or some of those things that linger a little bit longer in the air. I think this will be really good for that. So um, I'm excited to have a brick of this for the um, spring summer. I was going to get a brick of clean breeze, but I really just wanted to have this for like I said, having a clean scent that I can put in. Well, Clean Breeze is clean too, but I, I guess I was leaning more towards like a citrus. Okay, now it's time for the giant box, the ginormous box that has 31 items. It was supposed to have 32 with the silver bells, but that's the one that shipped partial. Okay. This thing is packed. Oh my goodness. Okay, so the first thing that I was able to grab, sorry about that, is the whiff box. Like I said, we're not going to open this until the end. Um, that way you don't have to stick around and watch it if you've already seen whiff box videos out there. Okay, so then I also have another heavy box in here. That's all wax. You might see Maddie in the background there. She's <laughs> she's chilling on the couch there. Okay. And this box is packed. All right. She heard me say that and she left. <laughs> Um, let's see. Yeah, this is a packed box. So, this is the, one of the bars I've had in this club since I very first started it. Real Beach. This is wonderful. Very long lasting. Extremely long lasting. And, um, it's strong too. Mm, I love just the, the coconut and the creaminess and total summer beach vibes. Um, if I remember right, White Sands was somewhat similar, but maybe a little bit more perfumey. So, um, if you haven't tried this, but you like those types of scents, White Sands is coming back out in June, Bring Back My Bar. And you could give that a try. But yes, Rio Beach is a great one if you ever get to try it. Uh, next one in here is my all-time favorite scent, Maui Mist. This is my ride or die scent. If I could only have one scent to warm for the rest of my life, um, this would be it. I just, I love Maui Mist. Oh my goodness, so good. It just gives me all the feelings. Um, it's tropical, it's a tropical floral, um, creamy, relaxing. There actually is a little bit of rose in here but I don't get a rose note. Um, this is just all the things. Love it. 
I felt like, um, you know, my club was really complete once I was able to add that to it. Um, I also have in this club um, another bar of lemon coconut chiffon. So I guess there are two bars that I get in clubs, but um, they're just in separate clubs, the lemon coconut chiffon. So I may end up taking this out of one or the other, but I use it quite frequently. And in fact, I bet this would go really good with squeeze a day. Like if I did lemon coconut chiffon in like the kitchen area and then squeeze a day more in the living room. Yeah, those would go good together. Um, smelling them side by side, the lemon coconut chiffon definitely has that added bakery note, but I can usually sneak this one in without my husband complaining too much about a bakery. So that's always a win. Um, these next two are for my sister-in-law. This is one of her favorite scents is Flirtatious. So she was really excited when this came back in um, January, Bring Back My Bar. So she has two bars of that in here. We This club we do um, share. She adds some items to this club as well. So um, this scent to me, is pretty it's a pretty floral but it's extremely light to my nose yeah I barely get anything with that and maybe maybe these just need to sit but man oh man that is a light one for me I was trying to look and see quickly if there was a pour date but of course they're not gonna make that easy to see um I don't know it, it has the the stickers on it so it was probably poured within the last few months I would say but um she seems to like that one so that's just in here for her I would take it out if she decided she didn't want it next wood next one is blonde wood and moonflower ah oh, you guys this is so nice I have this going right now in my bedroom um Heidi was talking about it in one of her videos and the way she was describing it was you know made it sound so appealing and it is it's a unique beautiful appealing scent strong long lasting and so I put this in my bedroom and Maddie walked in she said whatever you have going in your bedroom it smells really good it's like yep that's blonde wood and moonflower mm, so that's good um I get a little bit of a perfumey note to it but I just I really like that um I don't know if it's well, I guess it's blonde wood is, is the wood note that kind of gives it that bedroom vibe. But I do think this would be strong enough to do in an open layout. So I may try that out here at some point. Um, oh, I haven't smelled this one in a while. This is for my sister-in-law. This is feeling punchy. When was this out? Mm, I feel like it was maybe from the summer collection last year, possibly. Yeah, I don't really like this. It's like a fruit punch with a little bit of extra orange note. And I'm, as a general rule, not a huge fan of fruit punch type smells. I do like rainbow sherbet, which could arguably be in that same category. But this is sweet in like an artificial Kool-Aid type note to me. And I, I don't like it. But... You know, I'm glad that she likes it. And I bet it would be a pretty good performer. Um, next one I have is Dumbo. Love me some Dumbo Circus Parade. Always puts me in a good mood. Um, this is, uh, I think, vanilla, clementine, peach, and mango. So it's a fruity scent. Tropical fruity. And oh my goodness. So good. I just... I love it, and, and Dumbo's so cute. Next one is Lavender Violet. This is a beautiful scent. I debated at one time taking it out of my club, but I'm glad I didn't because it's lovely for the bedroom. It's a little bit on the lighter side, but the lavender in here oh, with the violet, so good. In my opinion, this is like a thousand times better than um, what's that lavender one with lavender that we have now in the catalog? Um, this is stronger and it's just so good. Um, if we ever get the chance to vote this back, that would be a good one to vote back. I think we might have, 
It might be eligible now. I think it's been two years since it's been out. Two years this spring. Uh, next one is Love and Happiness. This one's an interesting one. Uh, very pretty. I like it in the bedroom. Um, it has chestnut in it. But it's like a perfumey, like a fancy conditioner type scent. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. And it was recently available in um, like one of the bar bundles. Maybe from uh, the last flash sale that was in there. Um, but yeah, this is a great one um, for the bedroom. Here's another bar that I, this bar, I go through it just about as quick as I get it. Toasted Marshmallow. And in fact, I used up the rest of my last bar a few days ago. So, um, I'm glad to have this other one. This is one where if I could up it in my club, I would. Um, my four-year-old, no, nope, my five-year-old. I have a four and a five-year-old right now for the next month and a half or so. <laughs> um, my five-year-old loves this. Uh, she, she loves sweet scents, but this is so good with the, it's got the smoky note in it. Mm, creamy sweet marshmallow with that smoky fireside note. Oh my goodness, this is so, so good. I love Bonfire Beach, but um, between the two, if I had to pick, I would pick Toasted Marshmallow. It's a little bit stronger to me. Very good. Next one is Snuggle Up. Um, this is somewhat similar to like Jammy Time Fuzzy Blanket, which is coming back, but this is strong. Um, I had, I usually warm this in my bedroom, but the last couple times I did it, I did it out here in my open concept and it did really well. I got two or three days out of it last time out here. So that's pretty good. Mm, yeah. So it's, um, you know, a relaxing kind of cozy bedroom scent, but it has that kind of like a fresh laundry type vibe to it the way that jammy time does. Um, but I do like this one a little bit better than Jammy Time, and I love the picture of the cute little kitties on there cuddling. Next one is Sun Soaked Petals. I had to throw this in my club because um, I don't know if it will get voted back ever. People didn't, a lot of people didn't really like this. I love this scent. It's a strong floral that is not powdery. It's daffodils, currant, red currant, I think, and I don't remember what else, but Oh my gosh, I love this. It's kind of like a, a little bit of a watery note in there. The daffodils. One time I had picked one of the, um, a scent circle up in this scent. And that was totally different smelling. I don't know what happened with that one, but it was a dud. And it smelled like <laughs> spilt beer in my car, which is not how you want your vehicle to smell. So um, I'm not sure what the difference was between that and the bar, but the bar is um amazing and it's it's gonna stay in my club next one is halloween town this is such a, a nice broody fall scent but i do warm it year round um and it come um all of the halloween town bars have like three different covers per scent plus the holographic one which is more of a rare one. I've yet to get a holographic one, but I think I have gotten all the different uh, regular design clamshells. So, um, oh my gosh, this is, oh, this is so good. This just gives me like all the fa early fall vibes. Oh yeah. So it has cedar, um, dark berries, a plum note, um, I like to mix this one. It's great on its own, but I do like to mix it with cedar cider to bring out that cedar note a little bit. It's also good mixed with um, ghostly greetings. But on its own, oh man, that is so good. All the fall vibes without the spices. Next one, I'm glad I threw this in my quarterly. Um, I think a lot of people thought for sure this would come back this spring, summer, and nope. It sure didn't. This is Vanilla Waves. This was really popular um, in the bakery um, section, and it was available, I don't know, a couple, maybe three catalogs. 
I think it was around for three catalogs, three or four, a couple of years, but um, it didn't come back this season. And um, that's disappointing because Scentsy Bakery section this season isn't, isn't very big. But this is a nice one for um, the warmer weather because it's not like a heavy vanilla. It has that light airiness to it, which is the, I think they have, call it like salty sea air. And it gives it that airiness. Um, it also has vanilla and caramel, sticky caramel. And maybe like a, a salted caramel. Mm, but I like that for um, a mixer and it's also nice on its own. It's not as strong as vanilla bean buttercream, but it's also not as cloying. So um, next one, I threw this in my quarterly for my dad and he didn't ask me to. And so I may end up taking it out because I'm pretty sure this will come back. Um, but this was his favorite of the new releases in fall, winter, and he still has like one and a half bars because um, he'll do one or two cubes at a time in his bedroom and it will last several days for him. So um, he gets a lot of use out of one bar. So I may end up taking it out of here, but um, yeah, I didn't really like this one. The spice is a little too heavy for me, but it's a great performer. A lot of people really love this one. Um, so yeah, that's probably on the chopping block for me. Uh, next one I have in here is coconut cotton. This is one I've debated uh, taking out because it's not the strongest, but every time I smell it, I just, I can't take it out because it's so pretty and light and airy with the cotton. And then you have like the fresh linen note, uh, or I'm sorry, that would be the cotton, but the coconut with it. So it's not like a bakery coconut. It's like more of like, um, not an edible coconut, but you know, like a, I don't even want to say sunscreen because this doesn't smell anything like sunscreen, a body care coconut, but then you mix it with that, um, cotton and it gives it just a beautiful fresh note. This is great in the bedrooms, um, this time of year when you're opening all your windows and you want some fresh air. It's also really nice in the bathroom. I wouldn't put it in my open concept, um, but that is a very nice one. <laughs> I have one bar of gimme candy in this club. Um, so yeah, right now I'm getting two bars every other month and then one bar every three months. So I guess probably about a bar a month. And um, I can't say enough about that one. I just want to eat it. I actually warmed some the other day because um, I knew my husband was only going to be here for a few hours. And of course he complained about it, but I didn't care. I love it. Um, lavender and white balsam. This is a beautiful lavender scent. Speaking of um, nice lavender scents, this is amazing. Um, you can see it has the older pinstripe bars. I think this was from the Bring Back My Bar in December of 2020. And... Um, I'm usually not a big tree scent fan. This has white balsam in it, but it's just done so well. The way that it mixes with that lavender, oh my goodness. Mm. I would say that this is more of a winter lavender scent versus like lilacs and violet, or lavender and violet being more spring, summer. But I warm this year round. Oh my goodness, I love this scent. Okay, there I am saying that. Obviously, I love these because they're in my club. I better start a new pile here. We'll go back here. Next one is Ocean. This is an amazing scent. Um, this is probably my... Well, it's definitely my favorite aquatic scent. It might be my favorite fresh scent at the moment. Oh my gosh, yeah. This is so great. Mm, I love Ocean. And I voted for it like crazy um, in the Bring Back My Whiffs, my washer whiffs voting, because this in washer whiffs is life. Um, it's a pretty good performer, this bar is. I just like that it's a clean aquatic scent. And it's not that weird aquatic that 
Scentsy puts in a lot of stuff um, nowadays. This is just, I don't know the notes in it, but um, it's refreshing and clean and watery and just goodness. Next one we have in here is Velvet Moon. Um, this was a new scent last spring or last fall, winter, last season, and it actually was a winter floral. This and Luna, and we don't see winter florals aside from Luna a lot in the catalog. I actually thought maybe this would stick around, but it didn't. I'm hoping it comes back next fall, winter, but in, in case it doesn't, it'll be tucked here in my club. Um, love this scent for the for the bedroom, bathroom. Um, it does have like a little bit of a powdery note, but it's not a floral powder. It's almost like a, almost like a little bit of a baby powder note. Um, one of the note, scent notes in it is foggy mist, <laughs> which always kind of cracks me up, but it does kind of give you that almost like, you know, foggy mystique type feel to it. Um, and that's a good performer. This actually, I mixed it one time with Silver Bells, which is a good performer, and this totally overtook Silver Bells. I was surprised. Um, next one that retired uh, fall winter also is Graham Cracker Crunch. I'm pretty dang confident this will come back. Um, so the only reason it's in my club is so that I can still get bars to use it um, throughout the spring, summer as a mixer. But... Um, I'm pretty confident it'll come back. It's a bestseller, and I I think that they need to have this in the bakery catalog year-round because it's so versatile. Um, it's great on its own, but you can really mix it with anything. Um, I wanted to mix it with uh, alternating warmers with the when I did my um, Clementine Huckleberry. <laughs> that might have been kind of weird, but I didn't have a bar, so now I do. Um, and this is, obviously, you get that that kind of crust note almost from the graham cracker, but it has peanut butter in it too. I think that's supposed to be jars of peanut butter on the cover there. Oh, yes, another one my husband complains about. Oh, I don't even care. This is so good. So yeah, sometimes when you get bakery scents, but you want maybe just a little bit more of that like crust note, this is a good option. Okay. Next one we have in here is Hocus Pocus, um, per Sanderson Sisters Perfectly Wicked. And you know, I bet this would be good with um, Halloween Town too. It's actually, um, to my nose, similar to Halloween Town. I'm going to smell and bite beside each other. But if you took out the cedar note in Halloween Town and replaced it with cherry, that would be Hocus Pocus to me. And it's almost a little bit of like a body care cherry. Um, versus like an edible cherry. So this is cherry, plum, some darker notes. You still, yeah, you still get the broodiness. So the cauldron there is, is appropriate, but it's definitely sweeter than the Halloween Town. Let me smell them side by side. Yeah, Halloween Town, that cedar note is dominant. Or this one, I do pick up that cherry. And I'm picky on cherry. And maybe it's because I'm... Most of the cherries are more like food type cherry. But um, to me, this isn't really like an edible scent. And it's great. Um, I really like this one. I think we'll see it back. It sold out last year. Um, but then I think... I want to say it showed up in clearance or a flash sale. I think. But I'm pretty sure we'll see it back. It was pretty popular. Who knows? It may even replace Halloween Town. They have this going and set up with the Hocus Pocus warmer that sold out um, when I went on a tour of Scentsy Commons. And so seeing this kind of reminds me of that. That was so fun. I want to do that again. Okay. Next one. Um, this is the first time I've had this in my club. This is Marvel Nine Realms. Maybe this is my favorite masculine scent. I don't know. It's close between this and World Traveler. But this, well, World Traveler's like, you know, I, I described it like a, like a Wall Street sophisticated guy. This is like um, a much more youthful masculine scent. It has 
um, lime zest, lavender lightning. I don't remember some of the rest of the notes, but it is a very unique scent and it's a good performer. This is one where you can use one bar in your open concept, but the problem with like trying to stock up on it is this wax gets so, um, sweaty. That's the word I'm looking for. And it just, you end up with a bunch of red goop. I've never had good luck um, storing these. So that's why getting it once every three months and then I, I can use it during those three months is perfect. Perfect duration. This is such a good scent. Um, I do understand why Scentsy took it out of the catalog. It's been in there for a while. and So it's time to replace it with a new licensed um, kind of unisex sense, which is um, Wizarding World, Harry Potter. I do not like that scent, but I understand why they, they had to switch it up, you know. Um, but yeah, this is great. And I, I bet we'll see this as, as LTOs come out. In fact, I saw a preview um, that yesterday that there's going to be a new um, Guardians of the Galaxy movie coming out. And <laughs> My, I'm not into, like, the comic book movies and stuff, but my first thought was when I said to my husband, um, I bet this means that they're going to, since he might have another um, Marvel LTO coming out um, with, with the new Guardians of the Galaxy, because I know we've had some of those characters um, before in Warmers and Buddies and Buddy Clips, and... Um, I think that would be great if they came out with that and then um, re-release this scent as part of it. Because this scent um, is usually what they release with any of the licensed Marvel um, characters. And let me tell you, this is so much better than the DC bar. Um, DC bar has that weird aquatic note in it that I don't like. But Marvel, it's all good. Next one is Crayon Apple Crumble. Um, this one I might take out of my club um, if I need to make space because I'm pretty sure this will come back next season. This was pretty popular. It was a new release last season and um, so nice. I love that it's an apple scent that doesn't have cinnamon, but it's sweet. It's kind of like caramel apple craze, but better. It's not buttery either. It's, um, I think it has... Um, Cran apple and a dollop of whipped cream. Probably something else, but man, that is good. So, yeah, I might have to take that out if I need to make room, but I think it'll come back next season. Um, next one, I actually am kind of surprised I put this in my club, and I think I will take it out. This is frosted vanilla. I really like this scent. Maybe I just wanted one more bar, but I, this one, I'm really confident that it'll come back. Of course, you never know. I mean, I would have said the same thing about Vanilla Waves, but um, this was probably the most popular scent, in my opinion, of the new releases last season. It's so good. Um, it, to me, the more I warm it, the more of that, I get a little bit of a smoky note, and it kind of reminds me of like um, Bonfire Beach's winter cousin. So maybe that's what they'll do is kind of have Bonfire Beach be a spring, summer, and then this one be a fall, winter. This was in the fresh category. I think it has some mint in it. Um, but yeah, that smokiness really comes out for me, and I love it. It's great. It's great in my open concept. Um, last time I did it, I did it alternating warmers with Bonfire Beach, and it kind of took over Bonfire Beach. So I don't know if I'll do that again, but um, I would warm that year-round. That's nice. Okay, we're getting down there. Four more bars. Uh, next one is Alice in Wonderland. We're all mad here. Um, I fell in love with this before I had a club. So when this got re-released about a year ago, I threw it in my club right away. Um, so good. So if you like like the Huckleberry and Clementine or this is sweeter. Um, this is... And it does have that bubbly note, which I absolutely love. That's what um, kind of stands out for this one as a little bit different than 
Monstropolis, Monsters, Inc. I took that out of my club when this came out and I put this in, in its place. Um, but those are very similar. So any of those um, kind of tart berry scents, maybe Berry Blessed or um, what is that rhubarb one that we have? A sh sugared rhubarb. Any of those. Um, if you like any of those, you will probably would enjoy this one. And um, to me, it's worth the extra 50 cents over the rhubarb one because it is a better performer. It's very strong and long lasting. And mm, I had a scent pack of this in my purse, uh, like all winter until um, I switched out purses. And I threw a winter hat in there. And then I was wearing it and I kept smelling, uh, we're all mad here and I couldn't figure out where it was coming from. It was my hat just from being in my purse with the scent pack. So the scent packs are good performers too. Um, next one is apple cherry strudel. I will keep this in my club because I have a fear that it won't come back and that it may be getting replaced with the cran apple crumble that we just talked about. But um, this is my favorite cherry scent that's edible. Like I said, I'm very picky on cherry scents, but I love this one. Um, that's mostly what I get from it is a cherry note. And it reminds me of like that canned cherry in the syrup that you put in a pie or like on top of cheesecake. That's what it smells like to me. Mmm, so good. This is one of those bars that it's really strong for a day and then it's gone. Um, but I like to have those around sometimes. Like if I knew my um, club was coming in in a day or two and so I... I just wanted a bar to just last until that happened. This is a good one to throw in while I'm, you know, waiting on other bars to come in or whatever. But, uh, yeah, that's a really nice one. And <laughs> I'm worried about that one not coming back. Um, okay, two more. Next one is Pear Blossom and Cucumber. I think this one might have to get the boot. It's very, very beautiful, but it's so light. And... <coughs> Excuse me, I tried mixing it with um, cucumber and cactus water of a two to one ratio. Two of these, one of those, and it completely overtook this. But um, I really love this for the bedroom. This was in my quarterly, I mean my bi-monthly. But I took it out of there and put it in here. Oh, that's so nice. I just don't know. My club, as you can see, it's gotten quite large and I don't know if I can justify having such a light scent in here. I'll have to look at my stash. I think I have maybe two more bars besides this one. So we'll see about that one, but it is very pretty and summery. Next one, last bar here is gingerbread buttercream. Um, this is only one I clubbed from the buttercream collection. Um, we don't have a lot of gingerbread scents. And if we do, a lot of times they're have other they have other notes in them that I don't like that are just too spice forward. This is good. Um, it's very good. Mm, yes, gingerbread all the way. Um, my kids, actually, my daughter that loves bakery, she didn't really like this because she the di the ginger was a little bit too strong for her. But man, oh man, love that. I don't know how much I'll warm it. <laughs> this season um but I wanted to have it in there because it's a unique scent and it's great for the holidays and in the cooler weather and really with the weather we've been having if you just looked out the window it could be December anyway so <laughs> um yeah so that is all of my bars um as you can see there's quite a bit so I really will have to, I'll be busy here in the next three months. Um, and I'm going to have to make room and make some cuts because June Bring Back My Bar is going to be awesome. I had two other bars that I um, took out of here because they are coming out in June. So that way I could skip like two shipments of them. Um, but that's Ghostly Greetings, uh, one of my all-time favorites that is uh, definitely going back in this club, as is um, Caramel Pear Crisp. I mean, sorry. Cashmere pear. Those ones I temporarily took out of here because they're coming back, but they will return. 
Oh man, this is a heavy whiff box. This is the last thing we have is the whiff box. Um, I can't stand to, I can't stand the suspense. So I did um, already see what's in here, sneak peeks and whatnot. I'm still excited to open it. Um, my sister-in-law and I, we usually split the whiff box in this order. Um, now the, the whiff box did go up an extra $5 this season. But it also has at least that extra five dollars worth of product, so I think that's fair. So it's thirty-five, still a great value, and with us splitting it, it's going to be a really great value. So this month, the theme is clean. Every day is a fresh start, and um, last couple of years, March was a clean box too. So I figured it would be, and and it was. Um, the first item we have in here this is such a great value to have this in here this is our all-purpose cleaning concentrate and this is in the scent make a splash now I have to admit I am not a fan of make a splash that one also has that kind of weird aquatic note and it mixes with the um, melon note in there that I'm just not not big on um but a lot of people really love this. I was just looking for it in the catalog. Oh, it's in the fresh category. Dewy melon and fresh green apple dive into refreshing turquoise waters. Dang turquoise waters. And um, I like the packaging though with the little mer mermen and mermaids. But my sister-in-law, who I usually split the box with, she loves... Um, make a splash and she also enjoys all purpose cleaner too so I'm hoping that we can kind of work out where she ends up with this <laughs> if not honestly I'll probably gift it to my mom for Mother's Day or something our all-purpose cleaner is an amazing product but I have other ones that um, are open already that I enjoy the scent better um, so the next cleaning product we have in here is a counter clean um, in our new scent cleaning scent this season and that is daydream oasis i'll let you look at this beautiful packaging here um, while i find the scent notes i actually have this going right now in my daughter's room in wax and it's it's doing a lot better than i thought it would it is a lighter scent but um so this is fresh lose yourself in sweet melon and visions of luminous pear leaf and water lily so it also has lemon in it but pear leaf and water lily and um, how, I got the dish soap in this. I haven't used it yet, but um, I think this would be really nice for this time of year in cleaning products. Counter Clean is like the Mac Daddy of, of cleaning products. So all-purpose cleaner, you know, I use this like pretty much for everyday stuff because it does go a lot farther. You only, you dilute it one part this to three parts water. Um, but the counter clean, um, I do like to have around for those really tough jobs or, you know, stains on the carpet or cleaning shoes, stuff like that. Um, and then the last cleaning product, there's a couple other things in here, but the last cleaning product is the bathroom cleaner in Coastal Sunset. I think this would be a really nice scent to have in bathroom. Um, Coastal Sunset is a little bit astringent to me but it's it's a very nice scent and in cleaning it's really good i i have it in the all-purpose cleaner uh, this is creamy coconut and sandalwood set the scene for warm amethyst amber a lot of people are comparing uh, the new mountain sunset as like a softer version of coastal sunset which i can see too so um that's going to be nice in the bathroom. I like my bathroom scents that aren't like the traditional, you know, um, citrus scents. Um, we also have a bar of Mandarin Zest. This is the only Scentsy scent out of the um, Easter collection that I didn't club. Um, because it's nice, but it's, it's pretty light. Yeah. So if she doesn't take this one... I'm going to let it sit and ooh, you can almost actually see the um, pour date, but not quite. Anyway, um, the last thing we have in here, well, we have a catalog too, but the last uh, cleaning item 
is this, I think they call this a Swedish sponge. Um, oh, no, that must have been the dish towel we had last year. This is just called the expanding sponge. But it's pretty cool because you get it in water and it expands and puffs out. And then um, it, they're supposed to work pretty well for cleaning. So I'm excited to give that a try. I am not a big sponge fan in general, but I want to try it. It's something new. And then um, lastly, we have a catalog here for the new season. So this was in last month's whip box too, but it's nice to just have that um, thrown in there. Always nice to have another catalog laying around. So that's the whiff box. That is both my clubs, and that is the last 50 minutes. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.